This video is the first in a series that talks about a common historical problem encountered by chemists. So a really common challenge in organic chemistry is if you want to take a carbonyl compound, and I'm showing a ketone here, but it could be a ketone, an aldehyde, an ester, you name it, and you want to put an alkyl group off of that ketone. So we want to take the alpha carbon and we want to put an alkyl group off the alpha carbon. Super common problem. And again, this could be something like a carboxylic acid. And extending the chain of a carboxylic acid. Uh, it could be an ester. Let's put, a, put an ester here. It could be an amide. Now, we won't draw that amide. But it could be any of these things. And you want to put an extra chain. So let, let's draw something a little fancier. Let's say, you know, we have some wild exotic molecule. This is not very exotic. But we want to put groups right here. This is a car alkylation of a carbonyl. Um, alkylation. of the alpha carbon of a carbonyl. This is a really common uh, problem, uh, a really common task. And so therefore, throughout the history of chemistry, we, we've seen different solutions to this problem. So I'm going to start with, in this series of videos, how we do it now. Um, what the modern approach to this would typically be. But then we'll see that some of those tools weren't available historically, so how did chemists do it previously? And it explains why some of the chemistry we've talked about is, is actually thought of as so important, even though it's not as heavily used today. So we'll hit that topic. I think it's kind of interesting. I hope you do too. And um, we'll see this, this idea in the next few videos.